painful, really painful. It was my most painful day. And, and look, the players went out on strike. And they were still on strike. And maybe I had unified the owners more than they'd ever been. And that maybe surprised a lot of people. But it was terribly painful. I remember when I had to announce, and it, that's an announcement that should have been made by everybody involved, but nobody else wanted to. And um, I had managers and general managers, including my own, Sal Bando and uh, Phil Garner, uh, who was a the manager there, who said, look, the players are out of shape. I mean, there's no sense in uh, We can play this charade all we want. But it was painful. This is a work stoppage that had been long coming. We had already had seven work stoppages. The atmosphere between the parties could not have been any worse. And um, we lost the World Series. And it was really a heartbreaking situation. But I want to say this to you, and as a student of history, it's that sometimes you have to go through this to achieve what we do. So here we are, uh, many, 23 years later, and with, with four more to go, four or five more to go, so we're going to have uh, 27 years of labor peace, unheard of. And, and I'm proud of that fact. So it was, 1994 was painful, will always be painful. But I do want to say to you that um, I'm, I'm proud of the parties. Uh, we made a labor deal in 02, 06, 11, and then Rob Manfred just did one too. So it's a remarkable record. Were you worried at that time though that that would have been a death blow to baseball? I, I, I was very worried. I don't think it was going to be a death row, but very, and it turned out I had plenty to worry about. 1995 was a difficult year, and give Cal Ripken Jr., you know, he broke the record that year, and he helped it, but oh, you bet I was worried. People were mad on all sides, and I didn't blame them. They had a right to be mad.